In this short video, I will walk through setting up a simple JUnit 4 test in the IntelliJ IDE. I begin by clicking to create a new project. I will use as my project SDK the default that I have set up right now, which is Java 11, although you can download or add your own JDK here. I will click Next. I will click Next. I will give it a name. Uh, we'll call this uh, JUnit, and in the package we'll call this a Quotient. It's the name of the class I'm going to create, and then click Finish. Next we're going to add the JUnit4 library to our project. So we go under File and hit Project Structure or Control alt shift s Go to Libraries, add the plus from Maven. We're going to search for JUnit. Hit the magnifying glass to search. Scroll down to find JUnit uh, latest stable version. We're going to use 4.13. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. okay. Now we also want to add a, a folder to hold our tests. So I'm going to go back under the project structure. I'm going to go to the uh, modules. I'm going to add a folder underneath here by right clicking. Click New Folder. I will call this Test. OK. I will select it and mark it as a test source folder and click OK. Now let's create a class that we're actually going to test. So I'm going to right click on my source folder, click New, Java Class. We'll give this a name. I think I called this uh, JUnit and Quotient and we'll call this My Class. OK. So under My Class, let's create uh, a method that we want to test. Public int. We'll do uh, just this arbitrary here. I'm choosing to just do a uh, quotient method here that's going to divide the value of x by y. Uh, of course, we can't divide by 0, so I'll throw in a, uh, an illegal argument exception if the second parameter ends up being uh, 0. That way we can test also whether or not an exception is being thrown like it's supposed to. Let me also put a wrong return statement here. So to add the test, we click on My Class, and I'm going to hit Alt-Enter to get to the context menu. Um, we click Create Test. I'm going to choose a JUnit4 test. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click to generate test methods for um, this member method right here. Click OK. And it's created inside of the test folder, um, this My Class test, which it has imported the org.junit.test. Um, that we need and it's also imported everything from the assert package right here so let's say we wanted to test this uh, quotient um, I would actually prefer to name this uh, test method right here um, we're gonna call it test uh, quotient and inside of here we are going to create one of our uh, objects of the my class type and we'll call this my class. And we want to assert equals. And I'll give it a message here that 10 divided by 5 it must be 2. So 2 is what we want it to be in tester.quotient with a 10, 2, or 10, 5 uh, argument. Or sorry, the parameters there should be uh, equal to. To two. So now I can click right here or right click and do run my class test. But if I click this, it's going to run my class test that I just created, and the output's going to be down here at the bottom of the screen of whether or not it passed or failed the test. And you'll notice, of course, it fails because it uh, received 50 when it should have actually been 2. So in order to fix that, I can go back to my class and actually put the correct return statement should be x divided by y. And now if I run that test again, we should get that the test passes, which it does. All right, so one more test that I wanted to run was that it threw an argument exception. So I'm going to add a new test, and I'm going to expect uh, an illegal argument exception class. So to do that, we create the test method, exception is thrown. 
So create my class tester new my class and tester dot quotient ten comma zero should throw that exception. So now if I run this new test that's expecting the illegal argument exception, I am actually getting a pass on that. It does throw the exception like it's supposed to. And that's how you create a JUnit test of these two uh, very simple types in um, IDEA, uh, IntelliJ.